was looking to buy concert tickets and something caught my attention. You see this hover effect? Well, what I'll be showing you today is how to code something like this. So um, obviously we'll just have a link. I don't know. Okay, and now let's just move on to the CSS. So um, we'll have a button with something like 12 ends, a button line height, let's say 3, and um, now let's start styling. Um, first off, actually let's put everything in the middle. So. Um, Height. Uh, get rid of the scroll bars. Margin zero. Okay, now let's just uh, give it uh, a background. I don't know, something like this. Let's see. Okay, uh, now here, make the background white. Set the width to uh, the bottom width. Um, now let's uh, also set uh, a font, sorry, um, something like this. I think I'm going to uh, increase uh, the size of the font by a bit, uh, but you know, not by much. Okay, uh, let's make it a bit thicker as well. Um, put it in the middle. Okay, uh, let's get rid of the underline, text decoration none. Um, yeah, line height. So, um, button line height. Okay, so yeah, this uh, does it. Uh, let's also set um, a color. So, um, this uh, should do it. Um, Something uh, else I want to set here, position relative, Z index 1. Okay, uh, and now that I've done this, let's uh, move on to doing those um, red segments there. So those are going to be two pseudo elements, so uh, before and after. Okay, uh, position absolute. Uh, top zero, bottom uh, zero. Um, the width is going to be so um, okay. Um, so this is power. Uh, of course, I'll be needing compass for this, so um, not not the width, uh, no diagonal. So um, import compass. Okay, now uh, having done this, um, okay, um, I'll also be setting a background. I don't know, it, it's going to be a red thing, so it's going to have um, um, a lot of red. Okay, something like this, and we need to uh, give them a width, that's going to be the bottom diagonal. Okay, uh, now I'm finally seeing something, and here let's set, set index minus 1, oops, minus 1. Okay, now I'm seeing the stuff under the buy tickets. Uh, now for the left, Um, this 
this is going to be, let's just set it to uh, 0% for now. Um, but what I'll be doing here is um, set a switch. And this is going to be a 0 initially. And I switch it to 1 for the after. Okay. So now what I'll be doing here. Uh, this is going to be calc this uh, switch uh, times 100% minus the bottom width. Okay, so um, just a little bit, let me show you something else. Um, If I set here something like this, you'll see how they overlap. Okay, so um, one goes out. So the first one should be oh, button diagonal, not button width. That's the mistake. Okay, so now that I've fixed this, yeah, they go out on both sides. That's good. Um, next thing I want to do is add in a rotation. Um, so first off, I'll be setting a transform origin. And for the first one, the transform origin is going to be in that corner, which is the 0, 100%. And for the other one, it's going to be in that corner, which is the 100% and 0. So something else I'll be computing here is a complementary of i, which is j, 1 minus i. So now when I set transform origin, um, I'll be having calc i times 100% and then calc uh, j times 100%. Uh, and I want to have a rotation, uh, transform, uh, rotate, I don't know, let's say 15 degrees for now, let's see how that looks. Okay, so uh, that's not what I want, I want in the other direction. Uh, yeah, that looks good, I suppose. Um, I, it's not going to be 15 degrees because uh, obviously that's a bad evaluation but button angle this is going to be arc tangent um, uh, line height over and here I have a button width um, and I want to get the unitless version so um Okay, and finally, multiply with 180 degrees uh, over pi. So this gives me uh, the degree value. Okay, and now I'll be having this button angle. Okay, and this looks great so far. Um, so I have this rotation, and I also want to have a translation um, and this is going to be um, 2 times i minus 1 times 100%. Let's see how that looks. Uh, yeah. Okay, I got it. Okay, now on hover, um, okay, something else I want to set is another custom property here. I'll be setting it to zero and then I'll be setting its complementary Q um, one minus uh, 
this. Okay, so uh, now having done this, I'll be setting this um, to B, uh, set this to Q. Um, okay, and then set uh, P right here. Um, set it to 1. So uh, then when I have uh, this um, okay, so I have a uh, Now I want to add a transition. Is and out, and add this from transform. Okay, let's see. The other way around. Okay, this looks good. Now, the next thing I want to do, and the final step, overflow hidden. So, okay, um, I have a bit of a gap in between them, so I'll just fix this, make this um, color and then just uh, make background current color and also set box shadow oh box shadow zero 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 um one pixel current color now this should fix it so yeah i have my nice effect as you can see and um, it's pretty flexible. I can change here something like 5 and it's still going to work the same way as it does with 3. Or I can make this a smaller, let's say 8, and it's going to work the same way again. So yeah, this is what I wanted to show you for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have and you want me to be able to do more stuff in the future, please consider supporting my work. You can do this with a donation. Uh, there's a Patreon link. Uh, there are some cool perks coming with that. Or you can make me very happy by getting me something off my Amazon wishlist. Again, there are links in the description. Or you can at least share this to show the world what can be done with CSS these days. Because honestly, I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching.